Ashford is now part of a joint waste partnership with Biffa Municipal, Maidstone and Swaleborough Councils, and this means that Ashford residents can now recycle more and reduce the amount of rubbish that is thrown away every day. These days, Ashford's waste is taken to an energy from waste plant where it is burnt to generate electricity. This is better than sending it to landfill. But burning useful resources such as paper, card, metals and plastics means that the materials are lost and cannot be reused or recycled. A better way of dealing with our waste is to recycle or compost it. Recycling and composting saves natural resources, saves energy and makes us think of waste as something useful rather than just rubbish. It may surprise you but more than 60% of materials in an average bin can be composted or recycled. Most households in Ashford will have a new grey wheeled bin for their refuse and a new green wheeled bin for their recycling collections. People who do not have room for wheeled bins continue with the black sack refuse collection. You can use your blue box for recycling if you have one or clear recycling sacks available from the council. Recycling is taken to a materials recycling facility where the materials are separated some may be sorted mechanically and some by hand. These are then squashed, baled and sent for recycling into new products. Materials accepted for recycling in your green recycling bin include paper, magazines and junk mail. All of the card from packaging, including cereal boxes, cardboard boxes, phone directories and catalogues can be recycled. We also accept empty food and drink cartons in the green recycling bin. You can put foil food trays, clean kitchen foil and rinsed out empty tins and cans into your green recycling bin. This includes pet food cans, sweet and biscuit tins and aerosols. Plastics accepted for recycling in your green bin include milk and soft drink bottles as well as shampoo, detergent and bleach bottles. They should be clean and squashed if possible to reduce the volume in your bin. Margarine tubs, yoghurt pots and ice cream tubs are also accepted along with plastic meat trays and fruit and vegetable punnets. Please do not put recycling in plastic bags as this makes it difficult to sort. Glass can also go into your green recycling bin. We accept all empty bottles and jars but not broken mirrors, dishes. These should be put in your grey refuse bin. Be careful not to contaminate your recycling with cling film, plastic wrapping, bread bags, crisp bags, polystyrene or any other household rubbish. If you put these things in the recycling bin, we won't be able to empty it. Over 30% of the rubbish thrown away in Ashford is food waste. That's why we are going to collect food waste separately from each household every week. You will receive a weekly food waste collection even if you don't have room to store wheeled bins on your property. We will provide you with a small 5 litre kitchen caddy 
to keep food waste in until we are ready to transfer it outside to a food waste bin. All cooked and uncooked food waste can be recycled. The caddies don't need to be lined, however you can simply line the caddy with newspaper or kitchen roll or use compostable liners if you wish. Please do not use plastic bags as these will not rot down during the composting process. We will also provide a 23 litre outside food waste bin to be presented for collection every week on your usual collection day. Please do not use plastic bags in the food bin. Food waste bins put out for collection with plastic carrier bags cannot be collected. The lid of the external bin is locked when the handle is in the forward position, protecting the contents from animals and preventing spills. Your food waste bin will be collected every week. You will notice that the new collection vehicles have two compartments. So they can collect recycling and food waste on one week and refuse and food waste on the other. This cuts down on the number of vehicles needed to service each property and is therefore better for the environment. The food waste is then composted, which involves processing at high temperatures to kill any bacteria. The compost is used as a natural fertiliser on farmland. Another benefit of the waste partnership means that we can introduce new separate collections of textiles and small electrical items. Old or unwanted clothes and shoes can be put out for collection in a plastic carrier bag. The carrier bag should be tied up securely and placed next to your green recycling bin on collection day. We can only accept a small amount of textiles that fit into a carrier bag on each collection. Don't forget to donate good quality items to your local charity shops. Small, unwanted or broken electrical items such as toasters, kettles, irons, hair dryers, clocks, remote controls and chargers can also be put out for collection in a securely tied carrier bag and placed out for collection next to your grey refuse bin on collection day. We can't take any large items such as TVs, microwaves and fridges. Please check our website for more details. If you have any small domestic batteries for recycling, please put them in a clear bag on top of the grey refuse bin on collection day. So one week you will have your green recycling bin collected along with your food waste bin and textiles. And the next week you will have your grey rubbish bin collected along with your food waste bin, electrical items and batteries. Please don't put your textiles or electricals in black sacks. They can be mistaken for rubbish and won't be collected. By using the recycling services available to you, you will have plenty of room in your grey wheeled bin for the remainder of your household waste. Please make sure all your rubbish is contained in your bin, as we can't take any extra bags. We will be assessing flats and properties that share communal facilities for recycling services in the near future. We are now able to offer an opt-in fortnightly garden recycling collection service. You can hire a garden waste bin for an annual fee. The garden waste collected is taken to a large commercial composting site. You can register for this service on our website. You might also consider home composting, as it is the best way of treating garden and some kitchen waste because it reduces vehicle movements. Enhanced recycling schemes are happening in more and more parts of the country, as we realise that we have to reduce the amount of waste we generate, 
and begin to look at rubbish as a valuable resource. As with all new systems, it may take a while to get into the habit of separating materials, but with your help we can reduce our rubbish and increase our recycling significantly. After all, what would you prefer? More landfill sites and incinerators? Or more composting and recycling?